The Battle of Okinawa was one of the most brutal battles of World War II and was also the last major battle of the war. The battle took place from April 1st, 1945 to June 22nd, 1945. The Allies were led by Simon Bolivar Buckner Jr., who was in charge of the ground troops that invaded Okinawa. The Allies were also led by Raymond A. Spruins, who commanded the 5th Fleet, which numbered 265 warships. The Japanese Imperial Army was led by General Ushijima. The year was 1945, and World War II was finally coming to a close. Over in the western part of Europe, the Allies had nearly won against the Germans. But Japan, annoyingly, wasn't about to give up. For them, it was win or die, and win was the only option in their mind. Japan was the last thing that stood in the Allies' way to winning World War II, and the island of Okinawa was the last thing in the way of Japan. The Allies knew that to take down Japan, they first had to go through the island of Okinawa, which was part of the Ryukyu Islands. So they devised a plan. Operation Iceberg. Interestingly, Operation Iceberg had nothing to do with a real iceberg. The plan was pretty simple though. They would storm Okinawa, capture the airbases around the island, defeat the Japanese, and win World War II. So, after everything was ready, the Allies set out and arrived on Okinawa on April 1st, 1945. Morale was low among the crew, and many didn't expect that they would survive. The 5th Fleet, before landing on the island, pummeled the beaches, hoping to soften Japanese defenses. What they didn't know was that the Japanese had dug tunnels into the island to help their defense. Ground forces that landed on the beaches of Okinawa were mostly American troops. Canada, Australia, and Great Britain all helped during the battle, but were more focused on being water and air support than ground support. When the troops finally landed on the beaches, they expected the Japanese to be waiting for them, and thought that this would be another disaster similar to D-Day. However, they were very surprised to find that there was no one there. Within a short amount of time, all the troops' supplies had been brought to shore, and they had successfully secured both the Kadenia and Yontan airfields. Little did the Allies know, however, that this was exactly what the Japanese wanted. The Japanese had been instructed not to fire on the Allies, but instead to wait for them in one of the most heavily forested and rugged areas of the island, the Sheree area. Then, the Japanese formed a defensive triangle known as the Sheree Defense Line. The ground troops captured several more outposts around the area before they were attacked. They fought many fierce battles, including clashes on Kakazu Ridge, Sugarloaf Hill, Horseshoe Ridge, and Half Moon Hill. Torrential rains made the hills and roads watery graveyards of unburied bodies. On April 4th, the 5th Fleet was attacked by Japan's most ruthless weapon, kamikaze warfare. The kamikaze pilot's goal? Attack the 5th Fleet no matter what. It was do or die. The Japanese actually considered it an honor to die in battle, and disgraceful if they didn't. The planes flew straight at the ships, many colliding right on, others grazing the ships so they would be temporarily out of use. All in all, 36 ships were sunk, 30, 368 were damaged, 4,900 men were killed or drowned, 4,800 men were wounded, and 763 aircraft were lost. This was a very hard hit to the 5th Fleet, but they weren't going to give up. Then, on April 7th, the Japanese launched their most powerful weapon, the super battleship Yamato. The battleship actually snuck up on the Allied troops and was ready to destroy them. Thankfully, however, Allied submarines spotted the battleship before it could strike. The air defense was immediately put into action. Fighting the battleship, many died, but even the super battleship was no match for the amount of planes that attacked it. The ship, along with many Japanese soldiers, exploded in a ball of flames. On April 26th, the Allies marched on their last spots that needed to be captured, the Meta Escarpment, also known as Hacksaw Ridge. The top of the ridge was located 400 feet up, vertically. The battle was brutal when the Allies began to attack. The Japanese had actually dug down into the ridge, forming a system of caves and dugouts. They were determined to hold the ridge, and they were determined to decimate Allied forces. Much of the fighting was hand-to-hand -hand and very violent, but after thousands of losses, the Allies finally took Hacksaw Ridge on May 6th. 
Later in May, they also captured the Shuri Castle, and casualties on both sides were enormous. The Japanese retreated to the south side of Okinawa, defeated, but not yet beaten. There was one man who stood out during the Battle of Hacksaw Ridge, Corporal Desmond T. Doss. He was an army medic and Seventh-day Adventist who refused to raise a gun against the enemy. Still, he remained on the escarpment after his commanding officers ordered a retreat. Surrounded by enemy soldiers, he went alone into the battle fray and rescued 75 of his wounded comrades. Many Japanese believed that the Americans would kill them on sight, whether they were soldiers or not. Because of this, many Japanese took their own lives. To encourage their surrender, General Buckner initiated propaganda warfare and flew over the towns in Okinawa, dropping pamphlets saying the fight was over. About 7,000 Japanese soldiers surrendered, but a lot chose death by suicide. Some jumped from high hills, others blew themselves up with grenades. When General Ushijima realized that he had lost, he and his chief of staff, General Cho, committed ritual suicide on June 22nd, ending the Battle of Okinawa. The Battle of Okinawa had a massive death toll. Americans lost over 49,000 men, the Japanese lost 110,000 soldiers, and it is estimated that between 40,000 and 150,000 Okinawa citizens were also killed. After the battle had ended, the Allies wanted to end the war quickly, knowing that over 2 million Japanese soldiers were waiting for them on the mainland. So, on August 6th, a bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, and then Nagasaki, ending World War II. After the battle, Japan was left in a terrible position. Politically, they were seen as a failure. They had little resources left, and their lands were devastated, and they had lost millions of lives. Today, Okinawa has recovered from the physical signs of war, but their economy is still struggling. An interesting fact is that during the battle, children were actually used as soldiers. And this was also the last major battle of World War II. Thanks for watching.